Welcome to tonight's live stream. Oh, no, thank you. Uh, are we not live? No, it's me. Oh, we have to reverse. Uh, you want yeah, me? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay, okay, you got it, got it. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> We're live with Sufian, real Swizzy. Thank you. Welcome to introduce yourself. Where are you from? Morocco. Um, I'm from Morocco, yeah, of course, obviously. Um, I'm Sufian. I'm from Agadir, born and raised in Agadir. Um, living now in Tamaras, where we are right now, of course. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm a rapper as well. Uh, yeah, I've been doing it for such a long time, since, uh, since like a teenager. Yeah, still doing it right now. At this point, I'm working on like starting my career again, because I had like a, a staff for like over oh, six to seven years. And now, um, yeah, getting back at it, trying to put some songs there, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, that is well spoken, man. <laughs> Um, before you were in Tamara, you used to tell me you lived in Essarera for a little bit? Yeah, uh, for the last, I would say, like, three, three, three and a half years I lived in Essarera. Came back to Tamara in around beginning of 2020, just before this whole corona stuff. <laughs> and, yeah, I've been working there in tourism industry, what I still do right now as a host in tourism. So, worked there for three and a half years, then, like, came back to Agadir, so... That's also where the thought of like coming back to music came, because here linking up with all my old musician friends and that, so I get to restart again. <laughs> get back in the scene. Get there's, back at it. There's uh, Ganawa music is really popular in Essaouira. Yeah. But hip hop is that popular in Essaouira or Moroccan rap? Um, I w like it's not that there's not like a big rap scene in Essaouira. That's just the thing. Like uh, I think it's coming also from it being like kind of a small city, and I feel like most interest is going towards Gnawa music because of the big festival and also the vibes of the city. Everything like kind of involves around Gnawa music. Yeah. And in Agadir, you said you're in the music scene. I've met some of your friends. Who are they? Uh, which the ones you met? Yeah. Uh, I Igida. think you met Igida, yeah, Igida. yeah, one of my best boys in Agadir, like, uh, the best by far, like, uh, Amazian rapper, and, yeah, we got also some projects going on together, um, also got my friends around, like, Dada, like, guys from Agadir, meeting with Atif, like, beat makers, like, uh, Fade Makes Noise, I mean, Pharisee, like, these are the guys I'm linking around with right now at the point. Uh, and most of the hip hop comes from Casablanca. Uh, yeah, I mean uh, the biggest like it's one of the biggest cities in Morocco. So obviously, yeah, the rap scene is much bigger in Casablanca. But by far now, we see like uh, rap scene like getting bigger in Agadir, Marrakesh, like different cities, Rabat, you know, here and there. So we see rappers now from like all different cities. And you've been in this since a teenager. Were you listening to English rap or hip hop at that time as well? Uh, yeah, I mean, I started like uh, at the beginning of me listening to rap and hip hop. It was like through like American rap, of course, you know, like old 90s hip hop and that. And by around 2006, 2007, that's when like the like one of the first Moroccan albums started coming out, like a uh, big album, Marabatel Moods. And I feel like that had a big impact on Moroccan hip hop, and like it kind of was that push, you know, be like, yeah, you know, we can do this as well. You know, we started seeing like like famous Moroccan rappers like at that time. Muslim was that Muslim around as then? well? Yeah, Muslim, Casa Crew, Ashkane, Snor. Like, uh, no, Snor. Uh, that it's yeah, we're talking. Day. We're talking like two thousand six, two thousand seven. Okay, is... Snor is like kind of the new generation, like or been rapping Bolso as well before, maybe on their different name or something. But yeah. He's kind of new scene right okay, now. Okay, okay. I don't know the timeline exactly, <laughs> but you do, and that's why you're on the live stream right now. Yeah, I'm so, curious yeah. and yeah. Right. Uh, so we're in the origins. You're listening to both English and the Moroccan uh, hip hop began in about two thousand six seven. Yeah. And now we're in two thousand twenty one. Yeah. And we we're talking earlier. You said it's been a great year for. Uh, creation of music here yeah it definitely was it definitely was uh like as we're witnessing right now in the moroccan rap scene there's like a big progress during this year i say like more than like other years it's kind of, kind of faster i feel like uh, a lot of artists had the time to just like sit there and like work on many projects because like we all had that time 
and I feel like yeah, it was very fruity for the Moroccan rap. We had many good projects, many good albums that came out. So yeah, it definitely helped. <laughs> Man, when we're sitting down for this talk, I'm like, and Sufian speaks English very well. Like your your level of English is wow. Um, How many languages do you speak? Four French. Uh yeah, four French, Arabic, Amazir, uh, Amazir, and English. Yeah, learning Spanish, but. That's going kind of slow. <laughs> I'm sure you'll get there. You got people to practice with. Uh, totally, yeah. Um, when you rap, which is your preferred language? I mostly rap in English. Really? Like, yeah. So that was the thing like that I like I chose since like uh, I've been young. I chose to just do a different thing because um, I was also with the band where like um, we had one of my friends that was rapping kind of in French a bit, so I was English, and we had like Arabic, so it's like a mix of languages to try like make make the message reach further, you know, <laughs> like cool. break that language barrier kind of thing. Yeah. And since then, yeah, I've been focusing on mostly rapping in English. Yeah. Man, that's amazing. I think that really helps because you are. Now that we're sitting down for like we talked about it, you're like, oh, I don't know, and now you're here and just like. I don't know what to yeah. say. <laughs> well, Killing it. Thank you, bro. Um, so, Melvin, you're behind the scenes. Are there any questions in the comments? Uh, not so much. <laughs> people are shouting with Andrea, but people are also, no, no. People are also pleased to know you, and some people said they will. They're looking forward to hear your music. So yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm working on it right now at this point. Uh, I got some projects going on, and I feel like it's not gonna take too much time for people to like have my music out there. Um, some new projects, so it's on the go already. And now the people they see this, you're accountable to them, man. They're waiting for you. Yeah, you know? definitely. I'm I know you're aligning with, with the right way. people. You know you're. Yeah, yeah. Some people, sorry, some people want to hear now. Do you have something that we can uh, play? Uh, at this point, not yet. Like uh, all the projects that I'm working on right now are not still like not out yet. So I'm taking my time properly to just like put things. Nothing on YouTube. Nothing on social networks. Uh, no, I, I mean not none of my new projects okay. under my own my new like name because I worked with bands with a band before, like a couple of bands. So most of the stuff that was that is online is like outdated right now, and like the band is not together no more. So it's gonna be a new start, but. New stuff is coming soon, that's for sure. <laughs> it's coming. Yeah. <laughs> I want to ask you, uh, what's your favorite, uh, or some influence of some American hip-hop artists in your life? Um, some people I would know, you know. Yeah, definitely. Um, I feel like growing up also, like I listened to a lot of like Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole, also listen to a lot of Tupac, you know, big mm -hmm. like 90s old school hip hop, like a trap called Quest, you know, mm -hmm. Wu Tang, been to all of that through that, and also like Nipsey Hussle as well. I'm a big fan of Nipsey Hussle, one of my idols, you know, like rappers that I look up to as well. You know? I'll have to listen to some Nipsey Hussle. Yeah. After Good this, we'll, we'll give it a play. Yeah, man, definitely. Well, what's uh, what's the time we got here? It's only 12.08. All right. Man. It's still early. <laughs> it's still early. Wow. Uh, Melvin, you got yep. any questions? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm fresh out. You're, you're, you you killed it. I want to know the really history. Open to any questions? Uh, uh, not yet. I think people are sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, eating. Stomachs. Eating. Probably eating. <laughs> probably eating. Probably eating at this time. Yeah. All right, up for the next day. <laughs> People is talking about French Montana. French Montana. What do you think about French Montana? Uh, big artist, like uh, also one of like the big like Moroccan artists that kind of made it in the music industry in the states. And he's a big name right now. He got big weight. And yeah, I'm a fan of French Montana. I listen to his music. For sure. And Doozy? Do you know Doozy? Doozy. Uh, yeah, I know Doozy. Yeah. Uh, it's like a ride type of Moroccan artist. Okay. I listened to Doozy like while growing up, you know, since I was a kid. Yeah, I've been listening to Doozy. So the the crowd knows what they're talking about too. Yeah, Doozy, but uh, I feel like Doozy is like pretty far from rap music though. What he does is like different. Like uh, 
I would call that variety because you can see him in different styles, but I never heard them in a rap song. Man, now I thought of a great thing to talk about is what's going on here in Tamarat now. You know, you said you moved to Tamarat, and what people might be surprised to know is that there's a music studio here in Tamarat. Uh, yeah, there is a music studio here in Tamarat. Like, uh, I feel like there's maybe like more than one, but like the one that's like known right now, which is uh, Aloha Vibes Club, which uh, is located in Aloha Surf Camp here in Tamarat, which is like a, like a good studio, good quality studio. It's been having like some good recordings going on there. They have like a nice like uh, live sessions that now like recording and like put on YouTube with like some big artists like that are like uh, in the rap scene right now. So. You know, Grande Toto was there, right? And Grande Toto was there, yeah. Like Mad uh, Dada also is having like a live coming soon, I think. Yeah, it's been plenty of artists that came through there and did lives, yeah, and it's still on the go. That that's uh, amazing to me that this little village outside of Agadir <laughs> just says a studio and big artists are coming here and doing music. That's a yeah. really amazing thing. Yeah, it's different when you see like kind of like a rap scene going on in the village and not in the city <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it's good because also small village is like kind of like an inspiring type of village you know living close to the beach uh, you know having a studio like surfing and doing all these activities i feel like it's a good place to be like creative and create sounds and yeah it's an inspiring place i think that's one of the main things i'm here i think as well <laughs> yeah a lot of people find I found inspiration here myself. Yeah. I mean, here we are doing a live stream. <laughs> I would have never <laughs> before Tamra, that was never a thing, you know. So, I guess yeah. it leads to creation and uh, the, it's the nature of the place, you know. If we're quiet, exactly. we shut yeah, our mouths, you place. hear the crickets behind us, you yeah, know. Sofian, some people are really proud of your English, and some people ask, Where did you learn English? Yeah, so I was gonna ask, well, Yeah, just like rap and have you been to US? <laughs> What? Have you been to US? No, no, I never been to the States. Um, and I feel like my English I learned like at school. I studied at a public school. N never had any like uh, English. Public school, school in Agadir. Public school in Agadir. Like, <laughs> well done. Um, I feel like I put a little bit of effort in it because I also like write in English. Like okay. I write my raps. So I feel like uh, putting an effort yeah, to man. do good writing helped as well with my English. Let's say. That's, that's a great choice, I think, because, yeah, that's the one thing I've definitely learned from this interview, not just rap hip-hop, is your English is <laughs> impressive, you, you know? Uh, yeah. Thank you, man. Someone knows you. <laughs> he worked with you in 2016. <laughs> he worked with me in 2016. Uh, in a call center. <laughs> in a call center. Oh. Uh, yeah, I worked, I worked in a call center. Yeah, you're in famous. 2016, yeah. Where was that? Uh, that was in Agadir. Agadir. Yeah, in Agadir, yeah. Before, so then you're like, I'm going to so Then you're like, I'm too cold. I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah, it was getting too windy in somewhere for me. Too cold. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we get here with the sunshine all year. <laughs> yeah, it's a beautiful place, man. It's a beautiful place. I'm yeah. glad we met here in Tamarat. Definitely, man. It was a pleasure. It's my pleasure as well. And what, what was that on the beach, maybe, I think? First time. We did uh, macro yoga or something. Yes. First time, yeah, I think that was the first time, yeah, when we met at the beach, you, you guys had a acro yoga session, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah, that was a good. <laughs> and then we're always crossing paths in Tamra, you know, small village. It's and then we just community. neighbors, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And we are talking about doing this live stream for a while. And we... It's been a long time, yeah. And we're finally doing it, last finally minute. It. Last minute, well, it's still good. <laughs> I'm glad we're doing it though. It's late though, it's harder to do a live stream so late at night, you know, yeah. at midnight it's like, hmm. <laughs> it's not the same, sometimes I wake up, you know, I have coffee in the morning, 8 a.m., I can just talk and talk and talk, but by midnight I'm like, huh. <laughs> yeah. But also, like, uh, I feel like during Ramadan, like, staying late at night is kind of a thing, because people, like, this is where people get to relax and just eat and have conversation, you know, like, uh, it's part of the tradition, people stay late. Like, even if it's like now we have like lockdown and like a curfew at eight and that people cannot go outside but most of the people will still be awake you know having family time or whatsoever so yeah i think we're good, <laughs> <laughs> good yeah. melvin you've become a night person now that uh you've been fasting huh yeah, but before me, someone is, is yeah, yeah, go. <laughs> yeah someone is asking uh you to rap for us 
Um, I feel like it would be better to leave that like um on a proper song. I'm yeah. Trying to leave that, you know, like to put it the proper way out there. Yeah. Really you could improvise way. something, something like that. I mean, um, that's. I would prefer not to do it right now, though. Keep it like uh, kind of a surprise, because. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm working on some good projects, and <laughs> I'm looking forward for people to hear them the proper way. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. Okay. It's just that. And it's not gonna take too long. <laughs> Just yeah, <laughs> same will be till it's made, man. Yeah. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. That's Melvin trying to he's always trying to get you on stage. Right? Yeah. No, I was just reading the the comments. The comments. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but he's yeah, just <laughs> reading the comments. Um, we thank you, Melvin. <laughs> tonight I'm playing the good guy. Alright. <laughs> you know what rhymes with Melvin? What? I don't know. Uh sorry? Kelvin. What? <laughs> ah, Kevin rhymes with Not Melvin. Kevin, Kelvin, yeah. Kelvin, Kelvin. 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 Yeah, Kelvin. Shit. <laughs> what rhymes with Kevin? Lemon. <laughs> Lemon. Uh, Clementine. <laughs> Seven. Heaven. Yeah, heaven. Uh, Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's that's a good rap. And is yeah. that a rap? <laughs> Where do we have more it. words on tap? <laughs> you still got your rhymes already. So. <laughs> I got my rhymes. <laughs> and soon I'll have quarters and dimes. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Nah. Is there any questions I see you looking at me? Oh, we have another rapper tonight. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Demo. Got demo in the background. <laughs> Someone says you look like an actor, Anthony Mickey. Mickey. And what? You look like you look like an actor, Anthony. I don't know this one. Mackie. Mackie. Anthony Mackie. You know him? Anthony Mackie. Um, I think I know him. I think I know him. Um, Google it. Yeah. Google it. Um, the first thing he said and all I time. And I think I think <laughs> I've, I've been told this before, if I still remember. If I really? Still remember the name right. Oh ah, yeah, that's you. true. You looked it up. Let me see if I yeah. if it's yeah. the yeah. same yeah. person. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I've been told that. Before. Yeah, <laughs> Anthony Mackie. Yeah. Mackie, yeah, he's a big actor. Like I, yeah, I know him. Yeah. 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 <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> and like Will Smith, somebody says Will Smith. Young, yeah. young Will Smith. Young Smith. <laughs> yeah. You say that you're handsome. Well, yeah. You. That's yeah. nice. <laughs> you say that you're handsome. It's, it's a friendly chat, you know, you yeah. got a good community here. Hi to the people watching, though. Thank it, you for the comments. It's where we've just surrendered <laughs> to the live stream now, you That's know, we're is, just yeah. flowing with it. People are not so nice with you, Kevin, tonight. They're not so nice? Yeah. Why? Because this, uh, he has a better English than you. Wow. <laughs> no, I heard. Wow. Oh, no. Yeah. Wow. Why would you say that? Why would you say that? Wow. <laughs> and you look like, I don't know if it's you, Sofiane, or Kevin, but someone says, he's like Bob Marley when sleeping. When sleeping? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Which one of us is that? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, the midnight live stream. Midnight live stream. Yes, midnight. Midnight live stream. It's the last night in Tamra. Yeah, man. But the weather is really beautiful yeah. tonight. I love the weather. Last night for you, not for us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's <laughs> for us. Yeah. yeah. But, at, the moment, at the moment. Yeah, you will come back. <laughs> Some rat will call. It's good to <laughs> yeah. get back, see your family. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Get back home. But let's let's wrap it up, you know. I appreciate you coming yeah, here. Yeah, man, it's a pleasure being with you, man. We it's been a minute. We've been trying to do this live, and I'm like, I'm glad we still got to do yeah. it. Man. So yeah, yeah. Don't, awesome. don't go. Don't go. There's, 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 there's more and more people. More people more are people coming. coming. Yeah, yeah, we're almost yeah. 100. I, yeah, it's okay, just the beginning. Okay, yeah, yeah. 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 Who's your favorite rapper, Rocko? Rock? Who's, Who's my, my favorite rapper? Yeah. Yeah. First thing that comes to mind is Ludacris. Ludacris. I don't know, that was just in my head, you know, I could think about it, but... Ludacris? Ludacris. Yeah, I listen to a lot of Ludacris. <laughs> I've been playing some, like, old songs from Ludacris recently at the house. We're good music. 
No, but I think with rap, you you go through different stages and levels where you'll really like someone at one time and like Definitely. then you either grow out of it or you know exactly like I feel like some some of the rappers could be just like a face of like that you can listen to for example as a teenager but the, as more you grow up you relate to more stuff and I feel like that can shift you to a ludicrous yeah get back and nowadays it's like flooded with all kinds of rap like there's a yeah. whole now it's even hard to keep up now like with all new upcoming rappers and that like it's becoming becoming really hard you know like you can pop every day to somebody that's gonna show you like a new rapper that's gonna be good you know or some kid some 13 year old kid that's trying to rap and just trying to hop on the scene you know? sofian someone is asking when did you decide to become a rapper when did i decide to become a rapper um I feel like I was really like drawn to rap like since a kid. Since a kid, I listened to rap. Had like some cassettes of hip hop, like all this old Walkman shit. Cassette? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and cassette, yeah. CDs and that. And yeah, I feel like. Um, but when I like thought about like uh, becoming a rapper, I feel like it's mostly when like. For I start when Moroccan hip hop started, you know, started listening to like Moroccan rappers that like, rap in the region in our language, and you listen to it and you like it. So I feel like that was at the point when I'm like, yeah, you know what, like I can do this. You know, if I listen to it all the times, I like rapping. Like I used to even like um, just listening to the songs and just repeating what they say. You know, yeah. I, I even like remember like saying the same words that I don't even understand. I would just go with <laughs> it and. <laughs> Just know this song by heart, but not really what it means. And yeah, I feel like Moroccan hip hop like had a big influence on me, like starting to rap, yeah. And also like linking up with other people from my neighborhood that like was drawn into that as well. So yeah, that was when it started. <laughs> Middle school. How old are you? I'm twenty eight. Twenty eight, yeah. Middle school. Yeah. And you had your crew, <laughs> you know, you had your community around there. And you're still with those guys now, huh? Uh, yeah, I still some link up. <laughs> so. I still link up with some of them. Yeah, like uh, like people that I started like my first band with. Like uh, like I'm still in touch even with the same guy. Like that, we me and him we started rapping like in middle school. I still talk to this guy to this day. So That's yeah, I keep in contact with most of the guys. And um, Melvin, what yeah. you got over there? Next question. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't ask questions after midnight, man. Yeah, I think that's what people notice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're usually in live streams noticing. <laughs> no, but people are really sad that you're leaving. Yeah. Uh, I am too. Yeah. Momentarily. But, uh, you know, uh, it has to be done, you know? That's For sure. You have to move on, you know. That's what it is. And I really appreciate you so much coming here for man, for now. Man, it's my pleasure as well, man, having you here. Also being at Melvin's. Thank you, Melvin, for having us as well. Always, Always welcome. A teacher, man. Yeah. <laughs> Always welcome. And Damien as well in the background. Uh, <laughs> 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 Just Google it. Just Google it. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how much battery we have on the phone either. You know, we had 32% going in here. I guess yeah, I learned it. What? No, I'm just <laughs> seeing how much we have battery trying to calculate. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I say, you know, percent a minute probably, you know. Some people say you should, both of you, play some music play some to music. get some vibes. Play some music. Yeah. Do you, do you play guitar? Uh, no, I don't play guitar. I'm a beginner in guitar. I'm learning though. I've been learning for a long time. Mm -hmm. But, um, but you yeah, can I'm not sing right. something, both of you. I just let the crickets sing. Okay. Know? Yeah. Enjoy the sounds of nature. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's pretty chilling. Kevin, some, so, sorry. Kevin, someone is asking, what is the most memorable stuff you did in Morocco? Most memorable stuff? Memorable stuff. I think going to the Merzuga sand dunes was a big trip. Where, sorry? Merzuga. Okay, why is that? The sand dunes. Okay. East Morocco. East Morocco. You know, and there's these big dunes. I'm like, no way I'm climbing up there. You know, they're like <laughs> huge. 
Huge There's people thing. going dirt bikes all the way up there, and yeah, we're yeah. just walking up there, climbing up these dunes, and they're just sliding, and the wind's blowing, and, and it's hard climbing dunes, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, man, it's super hard. Yeah, but I feel like it's worth it. When yeah, you go to Mercy, yeah. it's like really amazing. That was really, really good trip. That was the best place you visit here for you. No, Tamrat number one. <laughs> Tamrat number one. <laughs> Tamrat yeah, just speak around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So come to Time Right, guys. <laughs> That's the place, the <laughs> place to be. <laughs> if you surf, if you do yoga, if you're into music, you yeah. know. You meet good people, nice people. They're, it's like artists, man, you know. Like we had our friend Vasin. Vasin, I can't say his name correctly. Moro is how he introduced himself to me. Oh, yeah. Moro. Moro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And good guy, yeah. he like has the spirit of that place, you know, just artists. Yeah. Throw frisbee, yeah. drink yeah. a tea, and you know, we used to listen to this song is everyone wants to go to paradise, but no one wants to pay the price. That's really easy. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, before you go, we have a set of questions, Kevin, for you. Oh, jeez. First one. <laughs> Will you one? back to teaching in Chicago, Kevin? Uh, is Morocco the only African country you visit? And what is your favorite meal in Morocco? True question for you. Back to teaching? No, I don't, I'll be there short term, so I'm not going to teach, especially with Corona. It's hard to uh, set things up. We're going to focus on making some vlogs. Okay. And the second question? Morocco is the only African country? Yes. Okay. Third <laughs> question. Your favorite meal in Morocco? Uh, good Rafisa. Which one is it? Rafisa. Chicken <laughs> with sauce and lentils and shredded masemin. Or they make it with harsha too, I read. Yeah. I've never seen that. They though. make it with bread, like they make it but with masemin is the proper one. Like. I think there's so many like variations yeah. in Mama's kitchens in yeah, Morocco definitely. that like who makes the best harita? Your mom of course. Yeah, of mom, course. Of course. Even like the best pizza as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, would you miss Moroccan food? Yes, absolutely. Uh, I'm appreciating it while I'm still here. And uh, I know I'll be back for it, though. Yeah, for Maybe. sure. So we'll say good night. Yeah. Bonsoir. Bonsoir. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Stay tuned as well for some new music. It's coming in not so long. Yeah. And yeah, probably share that with you as well. And yeah. You got my Instagram there, so everything is gonna be on my bio in not so long. Yeah, check it out. Yeah. Salama. <laughs> Salama. Yeah. Please.